Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another toy review on Marvel Legends Captain Marvel. Uh, this figure uh, is another request, and uh, I'm going to make this review short just because um, I really don't have a whole lot to say about the figure, even though it is a pretty cool figure, but, um, and, you know, I'm not really that attached to Captain Marvel anyway, I honestly don't know that much about him, but I do have, um, I do have a love for the, uh, the more space, uh, sci-fi Marvel type of characters, like Captain Marvel, Quasar, Nova, Thanos, Silver Surfer, Galactus, like, th that type of, you, you know, Drax, and, um, you know, all those, uh, all those sci-fi Marvel-ish type of characters, I think, you know, they're all pretty cool. So, Captain Marvel has to be in my collection. I did have the variant at one point, but um, I decided to trade him off. But, um, yeah, so, uh, the figure, let me first off say that um, this is a later Marvel Legends figure, and the paint detailing is not really so hot. It's just a flat red throughout the figure. I think the crease has some color in there. I don't know if that's natural shadow. But everything seems to look like it's just one flat color. So this is all flat, like one solid, excuse me, one solid red. This is a solid navy blue. And, uh, you know, the star thing has got its gold. And these are gold. Uh, the hair does have some variety in there. So the hair does have, you know, dark lines and, and whatnot, and lighter lines mixed in there. So that's pretty cool. There's detail there. But as far as coloring goes, this is not really one of the best colored figures, as far as color details go. Articulation and body frame, um, I really think this figure was used a lot, you know, for other figures. Um, let's see, the neck kind of sticks forward like this. I think that's a little funny. The head does turn up nicely, so that's kind of cool. Uh, does move down so there's a lot of posability in the head torso moves nicely so you can get him in a cool flying position like that it works <clears throat> dual shoulder joints he has the shoulder joints right here and he has the ball joints right here actually on this aren't it's not really moving that much just a little bit yeah the, the this chest shoulder joint kind of thing isn't really moving that much on this side for me um, the elbow joint, uh, forearm, um, and he, he does have wrist joint. He does, well, this is kind of unique. He does have the forearm joint right here, and he does have, oh, never mind, he does not. I thought he had a wrist joint too, but this does move up and down. And same thing with this side too. He has a waist joint, and ball joints on the hips, and... Thighs twist, knees, he does have calf joints, and toe joints move up only a little bit, not too much, but you don't need to move, have him move up much more than that. Uh, he does have the hole in the back, so you can attach him to a stand. I actually don't remember if he came with a stand or not. I forget. I have a feeling he didn't. The hands are kind of funny. He has this, like, this bitch slap kind of thing going on right here. So, whoosh. And, um... Then this hand is actually really weird. It's missing um, the digits. There's supposed to be more digits in the hand, but it's kind of missing some. So it looks like, you know, like my finger, it's basically like missing the last part of the finger. So there's, you have the knuckle, and you have two joints right here in your fingers. Well, on this figure, it only goes up to here. So he's got, like, he's missing the, the top part of all his fingers. So it looks kind of funny looking. You'll notice that more when you get, you know, if you have him, but, you know, he's, so, but it's okay if you just have him make a fist, you can't really tell that much, so, but it is kind of freaky looking, he's, he's missing part of his fingers, the tops of his fingers, so, that's one thing I just wanted to point out, besides that, figure's really cool, I think the likeness is good, if you're into the spacey, you know, type of characters, you know, have him pose your Nihilus and Fantastic Four and Adam Warlock, very cool. Cool figure. Not a lot left to say. Just gonna give him one last little spin for you guys, so you can take a look. Yeah, I believe they took Quicksilver and made him from this mold, and a few other figures. I think uh, Guardian too, right? But it's not a bad looking figure. It's cool. All right. Uh, if you guys got any requests, let me know. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, peace.